green tomatoes. Yep, if you're growing tomatoes, you are bound to come to a point where your tomatoes outdoors just will not ripen anymore. Now, if you have a greenhouse, um, you probably have a much longer season. And of, of course, here in San Diego, you can grow tomatoes much later in the season. But it comes to a point where the tomatoes, like January, February, they just will not ripen anymore. So here is what I do. So first it is, I will pick all the green tomatoes and put them on the plate and put them in the window. It is amazing how well that works for the tomatoes to still ripen up. Now, they're not gonna be as sweet red as a um, tomato that's been growing and, and ripening in the sun, but they are very, very much edible and very, very yummy, and that's a great way to get ripe tomatoes. The second thing is that I would actually make a lot of fun things with the green tomatoes. So a couple years ago, when I started this journey on green tomatoes, I tried to make fried tomatoes because I had seen the movie and I wanted to try it. It looks so yummy. Now, it's just not my thing, but with the green tomatoes, I actually made a chutney, a green tomato chutney to have with it. And my whole family likes it. So I figured out that actually taking the green tomatoes, the very acidic, and then mixing them with sugar and cooking them into a marmalade or a chutney is a really, really good way of using up green tomatoes because you get that little acidity with the sweetness and it's delicious. I mean, it's delicious on toast, it's delicious with cheese. You can add some star anise and, and uh, cinnamon and ginger, I would say it's really good. Experiment around and have a little fun with the flavors because you can come up with some flavor combination that is just really, really fun. But anyway, and I will put the recipe in the description box here below. Another one that I make is actually pickled uh, green tomatoes. Now this is delicious, but I have to say, our family, we have never met a pickle that we didn't like. We love anything pickling. And this is super easy. So these are the quick pickles. So if you want to do it preserved so you can keep them longer and not refrigerated, you should can them. And you can just follow this and then do the canning. I just made the quick pickles because these uh, run out really, really quickly. This is what you need for the pick pickling liquid. That's a hard word to say. Salt, some pickling salt. I like to flavor with mustard seeds, a little bit of, of ginger and some um, dill, sugar, distilled vinegar. I know this is Swedish vinegar <laughs> and some water. So let's get going. Slice the ginger and put it in there too. Kind of layering here. The warm liquid is kind of kind of soft on the tomatoes too. And I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator and in 24 hours they're gonna be ready to eat. Again, super fast. I would keep it in the fridge. It would keep for months if you don't can it. Now, if you can it, um, obviously it will last much longer. So I just want to say something about whenever you're canning or making jam or anything, hygiene is the most important thing. Wash your hands, make sure you disinfect your jars. I wash them with warm water and soap, and then I will put them in the oven and on low temperature until they get warm and hot, actually. So because also you don't want to put hot liquid or hot uh, jam into a cold, uh, glass jar because then you have a chance of them exploding. But this is also with disinfected jar. So it's just really important that you have good hygiene. And when you then open the jar, make sure uh, not to double dip. No <laughs> licking the spoon and then put it back in. I know how hard it is, uh, but especially for the kids, I have taught them uh, because that will actually make the jam and the pickles last longer. So anyway, I wanna hear what fun uh, green tomato recipe you have or what you do with them because throwing them away is just not an option. No, 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 no. You don't want to do that. So put that in the comment section. I'm dying to hear and maybe even share your recipe or guide me to someone who has some fun a green tomato recipe on, on social media or something because I'm always looking for more recipes and more things to try. So I hope this was helpful and if it was, give us a thumbs up and subscribe and come back. And we will see you soon again. Bye.